Okay, so answering um, answering a question, I often talk in my talks uh, on karma. The Course in Miracles does not talk about karma. It talks about guilt, maybe the subconscious or the ego, and of course the miracles. It doesn't talk about karma. And the person was saying that the idea of karma sounds very, very heavy and makes things more difficult. So uh, very, very easily, because I do tend to talk about karma quite a lot, is don't use, don't forget about karma. Um, and every time I talk about karma, just ignore it. Um, and um, whenever Sabir says something about karma, make it meaningless. Because yeah, if it's more heavy, it's not, it's not useful for you. I just say karma because like if you're um, now, okay, so let me try and be helpful. Um, so the ego and guilt is karma. You could use the word unconscious and thinking and belief to be the, mean this exactly the same thing as karma. Exactly the same. They don't mean anything different. What you're thinking about is reincarnation. Forget reincarnation. Karma is the, is the, is um is is the stuff that is comprising of your ego that blocks you off from enlightenment so like in the in the course of miracles you could say that being th being a thinker and being a body blocks you off from enlightenment that's very clear if it's saying all your thoughts are meaningless and you're not a body you're free for you as god created you then if you're a body and if you're a thinker then you need to delete that and invoke the Holy Spirit to let go of the idea that you're ever a body or ever a thinker, so you can recognize the eternal, uh, the, the holy, uh, cosmic, the holy instant, the instant where you recognize holiness, where you recognize there is no separation. There never was a separation. Separation is an illusion. It's just a, a projection of the ego. So, uh, so, but if I was to talk from a karmic point of view, as long as you've got karma. Uh, as long as you've got baggage, you won't recognize enlightenment and be free. So you've got to resolve that to, to, to be free. It doesn't really matter. You don't need to use it. For anyone who finds the word karma and the whole thing of that difficult, then just ignore it. Um, but uh, uh, you've got to use, I mean, you know, when you use languaging, whether you use the word belief or thought or body, or, whether, you know, like a body is a karma. To be a thinker is a karma. You know, do you ever see the world and react to people as karma? I mean, yeah, we don't have to use the word karma. You can just say that's your beliefs, and that's because you're identified with the body. It doesn't you don't have to use the word karma? So I just um, yeah, that's my answer. Just just forget karma. Generally speaking, if you hear anybody say something that makes you feel worse, just ignore it <laughs> when try and resolve it. Or there, but it's useful to ask them: is is there another way of doing it without using the word karma? There is really. You don't need you don't need karma. The Course in Miracles is, is, is uh, if you just use, make everything that you notice in yourself and in others 100% meaningless, that will take you to enlightenment. Make time 100% meaningless. Make your body 100% meaningless. Make other bodies and, and what they say 100%. That, that will take you to enlightenment. You don't need the word karma. Or you could do it through karma. Ka use the word karma if you wanted to. Um, the guilt is the glue, you know, the, is the... the the, the feelings, the fear and the guilt and the shame are the things that make thoughts meaningful. If no thoughts and nobody was meaningful, including your own body and thoughts, then there would not be any guilt. It wouldn't have anything to hold on to, you see. It would, they would equally disappear. Okay, so I'll stop on that. I think that's enough. Um, so...